Hey, welcome to Strange Science News. Today we're talking about electricity from bricks. Now this one comes originally from The Guardian is where I picked it up on, but uh, we'll go over the actual paper in a little bit coming from the Darcy Research Laboratory. So basically what they've done is they've taken ordinary bricks, but they've impregnated this brick with a special form of plastic. And basically it fills up all the pores of the brick and as you can see here from the from the example uh, image, they've basically attached wires, and it's lighting an LED light. And there's a video um, that they've also shown as well. So basically, the um, the tiny na nanofibers just take the iron oxide, and and it basically is a store of energy. It's not using the brick for energy. It's actually making the brick a super capacitor and it's storing electricity as a static charge in this solid so really cool really cool um, here is the video there's not really much to see so basically um, the light goes down a after a few seconds there and uh, as the charge uh, electric charge in the brick uh, dissipates and uh, yeah pretty cool we're gonna go back to the original um, research here in the abstract we have um, the electrolyte extends cycling stability to 10,000 cycles. So basically you can store and discharge just like a battery. Um, you can recharge it up to 10,000 cycles with 90% capacitance retention. So because it's not an actual battery, it's a super, super capacitor. It's not actually using up um, like it would in a battery where it wears out. And so that's pretty cool. Um, it's using here the hematite microstructure and basically you would take the, an ordinary brick put an extra couple things in there and um for a low cost and it would uh, work so you have to put these uh, p dot p dot is the type of uh, plastic in there so and the nano fiber nano fibers kind of go all over the place in there and there's lots of cool pictures and let's go down here and we'll see the fibers that are filling up all the holes under the the microscope level here really really cool so their uh researchers are you know at the end of this article they're like what can we use this for right so can we use it on a house and they're like yeah you can use this on the house once we get some extra work in there right now it's only about one percent capacity uh compared to a lithium ion battery so they got some work to do on this but they said they can get it up to about ten percent pretty easily and then after that they'll have to do a little bit more work to uh, be able to store a lot more charge. And basically, you have your house, and as long as it's not a structural wall, like a new new houses usually have a brick facades and it's not a structural thing, it's just not actually holding the house, then you can use this to store charge instead of a battery. Now it would be super, super cool. You just have wires coming out of your wall and it would go acting like your battery bank. So that that is awesome. I really think... This is something that is uh, should be continued to be worked on, and I mean uh, the research is really really solid in this. There's lots of of detail, and I'll share that link in the description area below. It's really awesome. They put everything out. It's it's um, everything is free access on this article. A lot of times with science articles, you need to pay for access. So if you're really into this, you can check out all the details and see exactly how they've done it and all their measurements. And uh, all that references, it's really, really a cool, cool, cool uh, picture. But this is, you know, right here is an LED being lit by a brick, basically. So let me know in the comments. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, have a good day.